Did you say multiple cannons? I don't even know how to begin processing that. So these delusions... ...are multiplying proportionally to the number of cannons. At least as far as I can tell. Another delusion has already popped up. Where? That karaoke place on Main Street. Singoku Basara. Come on. Let's go take a look for ourselves. A delusion scape. Shall we enter? What in the world is going on here? Oh, you know what? It's a delusion. Clearly. I think he meant, hey, look, it's not a fairy tale. Looks like a castle to me. Well, it's a little less gauche than the fairy tale delusion, at least. Did Cannon do this, too? <laughs> Hell if I know. At this rate, Akihabara is going to be buried under a mountain of delusions. And how many cannons will that be? I don't get any of this. Anyone see an entrance? me. If we don't do something soon, then... What are you so worked up about? That it's going to be destroyed. It's not just the Freedom Fighters who set about destroying delusions. There's the DAB, too. The DAB's got bigger fish to fry right now. With cannon on their hands, they won't get to this one for a while. That's right. We should be focusing on chasing down cannon, too. I still haven't gotten my revenge. Are you saying we should just sit back and let this delusion get nullified? <laughs> you do whatever you want. Everyone, please! <laughs> Can't tell if you guys are friends or enemies sometimes. Anyway, I'm heading back. I need to rehydrate pronto. If you're just thirsty, I'll buy you something from the vending machine. Hey, dumbass. Word to the wise. When an adult says he wants to rehydrate, he's after liquor. Not a juice box. Oh, so you are a drunk old man. Not an old man, just an adult. And you kids are probably exhausted after all that cannon fighting. Go home. The day is done. <laughs> Fair point. Where the heck do you live anyway? Some hovel around here? Let's just say business hotels have gotten a lot swankier lately. Really make you feel at home. Anyway, see ya. Wait, you gonna come back tomorrow? Now that you've found her, I mean... I haven't really found anything. Huh? Anyway, good night. Call him Harry Houdini, because he just escaped. I'm going home too. I'm so jealous that they've all got a house to go home to. What, you got a problem with my place? Heck yes, I do. Okay, yeah, you've got a point. Well, Pinkun, would you like to come home with me today, then? Yeah! After all you've been through today, you must be completely drained. And I'd like to discuss Saki with you, too, if you don't mind. I'm sure you have lots of stories to share. Mippity, you really are an angel! We can take a bath together again, too, and have a sleepover in my futon. Again? Oh, so now you're paying attention? You stayed with me the whole time you were gone, Asahi. I had no idea. Anyway, we'll see you two tomorrow. Bye-bye!
guess it's just the two of us now. Good. There's something I wanted to talk about, Tachibana. In private. Huh? What is it? I just said in private, didn't I? As in somewhere with less people. The side street should do. Come on. Yeah, this should be good. Not a soul around for, uh, feet. Okay, so what's this all about? It's about him. Him who? Who do you think him? Reiji Shinomiya. Ah, uh, yeah, all right. Did something happen with him? You know the woman he's been searching for? We found her. Hey, long time no see. Reiji? Is it really you? Hey, who is this? Her name is Mari Tojo. Mari Tojo? As in... Yeah. The girl I've been searching for. What are you doing here? Meh. Just wrapping up some business. <sighs> business. Meaning you don't want to tell me. See? I don't have to tell you anything. You can read me like a book. Miss Tojo, are you alright? I'm just fine. Who are these men? You didn't see anyone, and Cannon isn't here either. Do I make myself clear? What? B but Do I? Y yes ma'am! I didn't see anything either. You're unusually agreeable today. I've changed. I'm a different man now. Wow. Didn't see that coming. Pretty tense encounter, too. You can tell she's definitely an ex. That's not what I'm talking about. The person Reiji was searching for, Mari Tojo, is involved with the DAB, right? Oh yeah, I guess she would be. And she did say it's been a while. Which means Reiji... Used to work for the DAB. But that agent, or those agents, I guess, looked the other way and let us leave. So what can we learn from that? How am I supposed to know? One way or another, the guy found who he was looking for. What reason does he have to slum around with us now? He sure sounded like he'd be back. And didn't he say something kind of funny when he left? Now that you've found her, I mean... I haven't really found anything. Those were his exact words. I think he must have some kind of nefarious keikaku. A plan. He's using us, I'm sure of it. He does keep telling us that we're looking at his behavior all wrong. So, leader, what's the plan? Are you gonna confront him directly? Probably not. Sounds like a good way to get stonewalled. So you're going to keep pretending not to know. What if he's a double agent? A double agent for the DAB. Okay, now you're just getting paranoid. Why I'm sticking up for someone as rude as him, though, I have no idea. So, you're saying you trust him, then? Well, I wouldn't go that far. How about this? Before we jump to any conclusions, you and I should try to see through his mask. Find the real Reiji. Our quest starts tomorrow. But real stealthy-like, got it? So, a top-secret mission on a need-to-know basis. <laughs> no problem. I was made for this sort of stuff. Sorry to blindside you with this. I'll see you tomorrow, then. Get some rest, man. Maybe I should do the same.